Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you two apps that you can use to calculate what ND filter you need to use, whether you're doing long exposure photography or you're shooting video and you want to make sure that your shutter speed is twice your frame rate. So say you want to do some long exposure photography and you're going to be using an ND filter to create some movement in the sky or perhaps blur some water, for example the ocean crashing over some rocks. So you need to know what shutter speed to use with the ND filter applied. So what we're going to do is look at the first app which is this PhotoPills app over here. And in the photo pills app here you can see we've got this exposure pill or this exposure section. PhotoPills is a paid app, but it's got tons of features, so you might want to check it out. So we're gonna to come to the exposure pill here, tap on that, and at the top here, we're going to choose whether we want to calculate aperture, shutter speed, or ISO. So we're just gonna leave it on shutter speed. So if you were shooting um, an ND long exposure, the first thing to do is find out what the normal exposure would be without the ND filter. So you could do this just using your camera's meter. So for example, say we were shooting at f8 and without the ND filter, let's say that we had a shutter speed of 160th, shooting at ISA 200 here, but we could change this to 100. What we want to do in the equivalent sections here is make sure that we've got the same aperture, so f8, also the same ISO. And this button here allows you to choose what ND filter you're going to be using. So say for example, we were going to be using, let's go something big, let's say a 10 stop ND filter. And you can see down here, it's telling us that the shutter speed equivalent with the 10 stop filter fitted will be 17 seconds. So without a filter, we've got 1 60th, and with the filter, we need to manually change the exposure to be 17 seconds to get the equivalent exposure. Obviously 17 seconds will give you some movement in the sky or in the ocean. There's also a couple of free apps that you can get from Lee Filters. Let's have a look at these. So we've got the Lee Stopper app and also the Lee Pro Glass app. If you just open up one of these, the Lee Stopper app just gives you three choices of ND filter strength, six stop, 10 stop and 15 stop. But if you install the free Lee Pro Glass app, you can choose the ND filter strength here. So on the left hand side is the shutter speed. This is the shutter speed without the ND filter. So before we had 1 60th and before we had a 10 stop ND. And you can see here it's giving us roughly the same reading, 15 seconds. You can also use these apps to help you calculate what strength ND you need to use if you're shooting video. Let's take a look at this. So for example, if you're shooting 24 frames a second, you're probably gonna to want to choose about 1 50th if you're shooting on a DSLR or mirrorless. What we're going to do is come into photo pills here, choose the exposure pill, and we can see that we've got f2.8 selected in both of these places. So say we were shooting outdoors and we need to select a shutter speed of say 1 2 50th of a second to get the correct exposure for video. Obviously 1 2 50th is a long way from 1 50th of a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to add some ND filter. So what we can do is choose an ND filter. Let's start off, for example, choosing four stops. But you can see down here that the shutter speed is giving us 1 15th of a second. So that's a bit too far away from 1 50th that we're looking for. So we could reduce this to two stops. Now we're at 1 60th and we could go maybe add another quarter stop of ND filter strength. And now you can see here we're at 1 50th of a second. So obviously you're probably not gonna have an ND filter of exactly two and one quarter stops. But if you're using a variable ND filter, then you should be able to get roughly the correct amount of ND for good exposure. You can also use the Lee apps to give you a rough idea. Let's just head back to the Lee apps. Once again, this is the Lee Pro Glass app. And as before, we had a shutter speed of 1 2 50th, but we actually want to get it down to 1 50th. So we can select different ND strengths here. Notice that if we try and select an ND strength of six stops, it's giving us 1 4th of a second, which is obviously nowhere near the 1 50th we need to be. So we can go down to the 
four stop ND down to the three stop ND. So it's giving us one thirtieth of a second. So we need it to be a bit quicker. We can see if we select two stops here, we're closer to the one fiftieth. This is giving us one sixtieth of a second. So you can use the Pro Glass Lee app to give you a rough idea as well. If you found this video useful, please feel free to click the like button, that really helps the channel. And if you want to be notified of future videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. See ya!